Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaro. Students, in this general science, physics, we have completed so many topics. In this session, I am going to start present. Okay. If you want previous session, just click on playlist. Then you can find out all the previous sessions. These sessions are useful for all your competitive examinations. Okay. Some of the students are saying, uh, sir, low volume. So if you feel low volume, try to use the headphones. Okay. Yes. Here, pressure. Today's session, pressure. Very simple topic. What is meant by pressure? Pressure is nothing but it is like a force. But if you can consider any particular area, force acting on particular area is nothing but pressure. Okay. Force acting on any particular area is nothing but pressure. For example, if you can consider our uh, hand, if you are pressing here, that means you are applying force. You are applying force on particular area is nothing but you can say that is a pressure. Okay. So not only in this one. Any, if you can consider any small area, force acting on that particular area is nothing but pressure. So, note down the point pressure. All of you know very well about this. Okay. Force acting on a unit area. is called pressure okay denoted with the letter p denoted with the letter p so we can say p is equal to force by unit area unit area okay so force f area a so force units newton area units meter square so newton per meter square are units r 1 newton per meter square is equal to pascal so si unit of pressure is newton per meter square are pascal okay newton meter square newton per meter square are pascal and here one important point Pressure is a scalar quantity. That means not depend on direction. Scalar quantity. Why it is a scalar quantity? We will discuss uh, uh, in the next uh, page. Don't worry about that. Okay. So up to this, note down pressure is a scalar quantity. And if the force is same, if force is same, that means if the force is constant, then pressure is inversely proportional to area of the contact. Inversely proportional to area of the contact. That means if the area of the contact is less, then pressure is more. For example, if you have two type of screws. Okay. For example, let us take a type of a screw is like this. A type of screw is like this. Okay, this is this much of contact area it has. B type of screw having like this. This much of contact, a very less contact. For example, if you have a wood piece, if you want to make a drill, okay, if you go with A, then what will happen? Area, contact area is more. Okay, for A, Contact area is more. As contact area is more means pressure is less. Pressure is less. So that means it is very difficult to make the hole. In case of B, area of the contact is less. That means area of the contact is less. That's why pressure is more. So we can easy, easily make the drill by using the B. Okay. So from this one, from this one, we can understand that screw 
have less area less area so from that from that we can get more pressure more pressure to make hole okay so that is the example for example coolies coolies uh, wear one cloth on their head correct coolies wear one cloth of one cloth on the head why why because whenever they use the cloth the contact area will be increases as the contact area increases pressure on our head is decreases as contact area increases pressure on our head is decreases so that's why they can easily uh, move the particles move any objects we uh, have objects from one place to another place easily okay so i think all of you got it whenever contact area is less pressure is more contact area is more pressure is less okay now coming to the next one on this uh, pressure pressure in case of liquids and gases okay pressure exerted by pressure exerted by liquids and gases is the pressure only in the solids no in the liquids and gases also we have the pressure okay so that means you can note down here liquids and gases also have pressure liquids and gases exerts pressure generally they exert pressure on the walls on the walls of their containers their containers okay for example let us take a, in case of liquids in case of liquids leak in a pipe leak in pipe okay in case of gases in case of gases for example pressure for example air in the tire okay air in tire of vehicle or air in balloon okay so that means gases also exerts a pressure that is the example okay so we have one formula of pressure on the liquid that formula is very important so note down pressure in liquid pressure in case of liquid okay in case of liquid so pressure in case of liquid that pressure is equal to h d g h d g what is this h for example if you can consider it is a container in this container if you have the water or liquid in this depth okay so h is nothing but height or depth of the water from the water it is called as h okay this is called as h d is the density d is the density okay so note down here force exerted on unit area of wall that means these are this is the wall here it is the wall here also consider wall or bottom okay so these two are let us uh, consider as the walls force exerted on unit area of wall or base base this is the consider as base or bottom base of the container by the 
molecules of liquid by the molecules of liquid is called as pressure of liquid pressure of liquid that means simple guys if you take some water in any one container this water always gives some pressure on these walls okay for example if you make hole what will happen the water trying to go out correct the water is trying to go out if you place hole here then water is trying to come out if you place the hole here water is trying to come out correct so always force will be act on the walls of the surface on the walls of the container okay so that force acting on the walls of the container is nothing but pressure that is equal to hd it depends upon h and also density and also g okay so if you can consider the same place g is the same g is the same and note down one more point in static liquid static liquid means stable it is not the liquid is not moving okay in static liquid at the same horizontal line or same horizontal level for example if you can consider here a b c at same horizontal level water is, if you make the three holes what will happen water come out with the same pressure correct with the same pressure here they have given that point in static liquid at same horizontal level the pressure is same pressure is same at all the points same at all the points okay and also pressure is same in all the directions in all the direction pressure at a point pressure at a point or at any point has same value same value in all directions correct in every directions water is coming out same pressure so that means here pressure is not depend upon any direction in all direction it has same value so that's why we can say pressure is a scalar quantity pressure is a scalar quantity it does not depends on direction depends only value that means only magnitude but not direction how of you here pressure is same in every direction okay same value in all the direction okay so note on these points Pascal's law also is nothing but same. Pressure is same at all points in any liquid. All points in any liquid. That is nothing but Pascal's. Let us take the Pascal's law of liquids. Pascal's law of liquid. students who are feeling less volume try to watch and that try to listen with your headphones okay i tried a lot to increase the volume but here uh, my la my laptop and my mic are not supporting if uh, i have already tried with another mics uh, i have bought uh, two two mics but settings are not uh, Mm, done perfectly okay so in that there is a background noise and some 
uh, other sounds are also getting okay so that is impossible to change the mic uh, try to adjust okay so by using the headphones the headphones there is no problem i think okay so now coming to pascal's law of liquid what is the pascal's law if you can consider not down pascal's law if gravitational attraction is negligible if gravitational attraction is negligible negligible in equilibrium condition in equilibrium condition pressure is same at all the points pressure is same at all points in a liquid all points in a liquid okay so if you can consider some water in any one container pressure exerted at all the points and at every direction at every direction for example if you apply some force then pressure will be at every direction at every direction okay so pressure is same at all points in a liquid okay so you can note down this one in another manner if an external pressure is applied if an external pressure is applied to an enclosed fluid enclosed fluid okay if an external pressure is applied to an enclosed fluid it is transmitted to every direction it is transmitted to every direction this is nothing but can say pascal's law okay so here in the pascal's law in the exams they may not ask uh, what is the pascal's law and write down the pascal's law okay the important question is nothing but example example is the important for exams okay example is important for exams okay so here what is the example hydraulic lift hydraulic lift or hydraulic brakes hydraulic brakes okay works on pascal's law this is the point important works on pascal's law are you getting my point here the important point is nothing but in the exams they will ask simply a uh, hydraulic lift works on which law are based on which law hydraulic brakes are works on uh, which law okay that is pascal law that is the only the important question here okay so how it works a brief idea guys just for understanding i am giving in the exams they may not ask okay so for example hydraulic lift or hydraulic brakes how they works working of hydraulic lift or brake this is a very good phenomena very good law okay for example if you are uh, uh, using the cycle okay in the cycle riding we can use the normal brake okay so if you apply some pressure by using our hands then the wheel is going to be stop correct but in case of lorry for example in lorry in bus in car those are moving very fastly can we apply can we stop the wheels at a time by using our uh, uh, our force that is not at all possible we may not uh, uh, apply that much of force by using our hands or our legs that is not at all possible we cannot stop the vehicle if it is moving with a very high speed 
okay that is a very uh, well, that is very high weight okay and moving very high velocity it is impossible to stop that one in that case this hydraulic uh, uh, brakes are works how they are working for example let us uh, try to understand a small concept for example if this is the brake wire or brake container or hydraulic uh, lift container here let us consider just example area is equal to 1 meter square you have applied you can apply only let, less force if you apply for example 10 newtons of force example just i am giving so if you apply 10 newtons of force then what is the pressure you get what is the pressure you get for example it has the liquid okay so if you apply some pressure then force by unit area that is equal to 10 by 1 that is equal to 10 pascals 10 pascals of force you have applied okay after that what they will do they will increase some watt of area if they increase some watt of area here also they have the liquid okay now coming to this area if this area is let us take 2 meter square 2 meter square you have applied only 10 newtons of force whenever coming to this area here then what is the pressure you get 10 by area just wait uh. Uh, here you have already the pressure here how much of pressure 10 pascals of pressure okay and you have the area is let us consider 2 meter square then how much uh, force you get, we will get here force is equal to pressure into area so pressure 10 area is 2 that means you will get 20 newtons so very high amount of the force correct very high amount of the force so you have applied just 10 newton but by using the liquids you got 20 newtons in the same way in the same way if you increase the area if you increase the area like this if you increase this much of area okay if you increase this much of area area is equal to let us take 10 meter square okay 10 meter square now what is the pressure you got here if uh, here the pressure let us take uh, 10 pascals is your pressure pressure is uh, 10 pascals then what is the force you will get pressure into area 10 into 10 that is equal to 100 newtons okay that means you have just by using your legs you have applied 10 newtons because of increasing area of the cross section there is a lot of uh, liquid is there in this so that means the pressure is increased by uh, sorry the force is increased by 10 newtons that force may be enough to break that force may be enough to lift the items okay so in that way as you increasing the area then you will get the more force you will get the more force in this way the hydraulic lift or hydraulic brakes are works okay all of you getting First of all, initially, if you are not getting, simply eliminate this part. Eliminate this part. Okay. Okay. Now, you can easily understand. Here, you have applied 10 newtons of 
force and this area is 1 meter square then how much pressure you got 10 pascal so you are getting 10 pascals okay pressure is a 10 pascal and this area is 10 meter square then how much force you get pressure into area that is a 100 newton so 10 newtons of force will be converted into 100 newtons of force so this force is enough to break enough to break all of you getting so like that hydraulic lift or hydraulic brakes are works now coming to the next two one next two topic in this <coughs> melting point and boiling point that means effect of pressure on melting point and boiling point effect of pressure on melting point and boiling point okay generally what we can say the water melting water uh, boiling point is nothing but 100 degree centigrade that is true at a constant pressure only okay that is true at a constant pressure only if the pressure changes the boiling point may be changes melting point may be changes okay so let us take about uh, first of all melting point melting point here we have the two cases two types of substances okay the first one the melting point of substances the melting point of substances which expands on fusion which expands on fusion okay the melting point of substances which expands on fusion fusion means if you heat those materials may be expands okay in that cases okay in that cases as pressure increases melting point increases okay for example you can say wax for example we can say wax wax if you can consider it is in the powder form it is in the powder form you can apply less heat also it is easily going to be melted correct whenever the wax is in the powder form for less heat it is going to be melt that means melting point is less whenever you apply the pressure whenever you apply the pressure on this then what will happen it will become so fully solid it will become a fully solid then you have to apply more heat that means if you apply more heat means that melting point is increases so here you can say as pressure increases melting point is increases in these type of substances coming to the substances substances which contracts on fusion which contracts on fusion for example ice here in the ice is what is happening if the ice is in the solid it takes more time to melt whenever you apply the some pressure then what will happen solid particles will be becomes a small small particle then it can easily melt melting point is decreases so as pressure increases melting point is decreases so as pressure increases melting point is decreases okay these are the very important points here 
I am coming to boiling point. Boiling point. Okay. In case of all the substances, here you can consider in all substances as pressure increases, its boiling point is increases. Okay, so that's the why, that's the why in case of pressure cooker, in case of pressure cooker, uh, pressure is increases. So that's why boiling point of water increases. Okay, it is not uh, 100 degrees, more than 100 degrees. That means water will become 110 also, it is not going to be evaporated. So up to 110 degrees, the particles in the cooker, that means for example, if those are rice or those are uh, onions or those are, uh, that is aloo, okay, anyone, okay, potatoes, let us take potatoes. So all is, are going to be cooked very well because of as pressure increases, boiling point increases, okay. So in case of pressure as height from earth surface, as height from earth surface, as height from earth surface increases, what will happen? Pressure is going to be decreases. So boiling point is going to be decreases. Okay. So generally water boiling point is considered as 100 degrees centigrade. So up to 100 water may not evaporate evaporate so potatoes can cook up to 100 degrees centigrade okay if height increases pressure decreases Boiling point is decreases. Okay, if it is decreases to 90 degrees or 80 degrees, then what will happen? 90 degrees or 80 degrees. Then potatoes can cook, can get 80 degrees heat only. That means, so potatoes may not cook okay may not cook that means we can note down it is very difficult to cook in mountains. Why? Because as height increases, pressure decreases, boiling point of water decreases. Okay. And it is very difficult to write. It is very difficult to write using fountain pen in aeroplanes. Why? Because pressure is decreases, so ink may leaks. Okay, inside of the refill, pressure is higher, so as the height increases, pressure decreases means ink may be leaks. Okay, ink may be leaks. So these are the very good uh, examples and very important points also. These two are very important. It is very difficult to cook in mountains. Why? Because as height increases, at pressure is going to be decreases. So that's why boiling point is going to be decreases. Okay. Now coming to atmospheric pressure. This is another important point in the pressure. 
atmospheric pressure we can also call it as atm atm or atm unit okay so what is the atmospheric pressure the pressure on the atmosphere is nothing but atmospheric pressure in the atmosphere we have the air so the pressure on the air is nothing but atmospheric pressure okay so note down we know that we know that the envelope of air is atmosphere we call atmosphere okay so the pressure exerted on the atmospheric air is nothing but atmospheric pressure the pressure exerted by this atmosphere the atmospheric air is called as atmospheric air atmospheric pressure Okay. the pressure exerted by this atmospheric air is called as atmospheric pressure okay and we can also call this as the pressure or down the pressure which is exerted by a mercury column of mercury column of 76 centimeter 76 centimeter of mm of 76 centimeter of column of 76 centimeter length at 0 degree centigrade and 45 degrees latitude latitude at sea level at sea level is nothing but can say atmospheric pressure okay that means uh, you can simply say that it is equal to weight of 76 centimeter column of mercury of area 1 centimeter square 1 centimeter okay so it is simply measured in atm units okay atm units one atm unit is equal to so many uh, units are there so we will take all those those are very important for example so for exams okay atmospheric pressure generally measured in ATM unit ATM unit here one ATM unit is equal to one zero one three millibars okay that means bar is also one of the unit of ATM okay that is equal to one point zero one three bar 1.013 bar okay here one bar is equal to 10 power 5 newton per meter square so from this 1.013 into 10 power 5 newton per meter square very important one atm unit is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 newton per meter square you know 
1 newton per meter square is equal to 1 pascal from this 1 atm unit is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascal 10 power 5 pascal or 1 atm unit is equal to if you can uh, convert it into kilo pascals 101.3 kilo pascal kilo pascal okay if you want one atm unit in mm of hg one atm is equal to 76 centimeter of hg if you convert in mm 760 mm of hg 760 mm of hg and also we have 1 atm is equal to 760 tar 760 tar from these two we can also understand 1 mm of hg is equal to 1 tar this mercury barometer is invented by scientist tar is the lee so that's why we have given atm unit is uh, in the tars Okay, ADM unit is in the top. Noted? All these are very important guides. Completed? Yes. Atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. Sometimes called as barometric pressure. Why? Sometimes called as barometric pressure why because the why because pressure is measured by atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is measured by barometer barometer so that's why it is called as barometric pressure okay this uh, mercury barometer invented by the scientist mercury mercury barometer invented by scientist very important question this is called as evangelista maybe some uh, spelling mistakes don't mind evangelista star is selling okay so with the name of tar we have given Barometer atmospheric pressure reading uh, unit is uh, tar. Okay, one of the unit is tar. Okay, by using this barometer, we can forecast the weather. That is important. By using barometer, we can forecast weather. Very important question. Weather forecasting is done by which meter? barometer by using the barometer only you can forecast the weather why because of in the barometer reading if there is a sudden rise sudden fall slow rise slow slow fall based on that we have some uh, indications are there okay don't worry we will take those indications indications of barometer no doubt indications of barometer okay for example the barometer reading is uh, slow fall or sudden let us say first one sudden fall sudden fall in the barometer reading is the indication of storm to fall okay storm that is to fall if it is slow fall, 
snowfall. It is the indication of rain. Okay, all of you try to make a short trick or small trick to remember. If anyone is falling, okay, rain falling now, rain falls. Rain falls. If it is a uh, sudden fall means heavy rain. Heavy rain means storm. Okay, correct or not? Tufan, in the Tufan we have heavy rain. Slow fall. Slowly falling means just rain. Okay, so anyway, if it is a fall, fall is belongs to make a small trick. Fall belongs to rain. Heavy fall. Sudden fall. Heavy rain. That is to fall. Okay, if it is a slow rise, slow rise is always good indication. So good weather. Good weather. Sudden always a bad thing, correct? Sudden rise. If it is a sudden rise, then suddenly climate changes. Okay, unsettled weather. Unsettled weather. That means uh, suddenly there is a heavy rain sudden after that suddenly there is a very hot okay so that means unsettled weather unsettled weather so all these indications are very important for example for example okay so what we have learned in this present some of the if any points missed in the present no need of worry that will be covered in the mcq session okay so present the first important point formula force by unit area second it is a scalar quantity it is also important okay units units are also important okay after that in case of liquid under this formula important pascal's law in the pascal's law this point only important that is um, hydraulic lift and hydraulic brakes works on which law pascal's law okay this is just for understanding. Effect of uh, yes, this point also important melting point and boiling points. As the height from the earth surface increases, pressure is decreases. It is also very very important point. Okay, it is very difficult to cook in mountains. Difficult to ride by using the fountain pens in aeroplanes. Atmospheric pressure units are important. Okay. Sometimes the last one tar is equal to dash mm of hg, 1 mm of hg, like that. And indications of barometer. And barometer is invented by the scientist Evangelista Torricelli. By using which meter we can forecast the weather? Barometer. Okay. So all these points are the important. In the next session, we will discuss uh, another topics in this uh, mechanical quantities. Maybe friction, surface tension, viscosity, those topics. Okay. So students, if you still not subscribe this channel, please try to subscribe this channel and share this video to all your friends. And if you really like the session, don't forget to click on the like option. And also please share your uh, views in comment session. Okay. So always your comments encouraged me a lot. Okay. So that makes me that uh, use some pressure to me to make some more videos okay so i am expecting uh, uh, from all the students i will get comments okay it is a bad or good whatever it may be try to give just a half minute spend half minute you can give the comment okay okay students thank you so much for watching and i have also given the description uh, in the description i have given telegram link you can join in that okay Thank you so much guys.